Hey guys, welcome back to this Inkscape tutorial series. I'm nearing the end of what I feel like I can teach you. Uh, I think in the future videos, I'm just gonna do some application specific uh, videos teaching you how to create a certain, uh, like a logo or a certain product. But in this video, I wanna show some of the things that we've created in the past, my wife and I, using Inkscape. Um, so this is actually a book cover. This is the front of the book and the, of the back of a book that my wife created uh, for a nonprofit organization that she's working on called Humanity Books. And I'm just going to show some video footage of, of some of the real-world objects uh, like these that she's created uh, using Inkscape. Um, really cool stuff. And so I just want to show that you can actually make some pretty awesome things using Inkscape. And it's not just in theory. It's not just for like web design. You can create really professional-looking uh, end results. Uh, here's another shirt that she made. Uh, this is the, the source file for it. So these fonts... I actually don't have the correct fonts installed because these were designed on Linux. Um, and then I think she has some special fonts that she used. Uh, anyway, but the, the shirt turned out really well, and, and uh, this, which is a screen printing shirt. And then in my business, I've actually used, uh, this is the, sort, the original file I used when trying to figure out the logo. So these are some of the different uh, design choices I, I kind of went through to try and arrive at my final design. And you can kind of see uh, how it came together. And then I got like just some samples of putting our logo on t-shirts uh, and ball caps. So I, I use Inkscape a lot uh, in, in branding of my own business and kind of seeing what it'll, what these different logos will look like, you know, on vehicles and different things like that. Uh, but this is the source file and, I've, and uh, I've embroidered this on jackets and shirts and business cards and done a lot of things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show, is show just a couple of the real world things that we've created uh, using Inkscape. And hopefully this kind of piques your interest and inspires you for the ways that you can use Inkscape as well. Appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and join me on some other ones, and I'll catch you in the next one.